Uh, we're looking at a little vandalism from somebody that probably didn't want us to have a corn maze this year. It's unfortunate, but at least we, we can work around the problems we got here and make it a good maze still. This will be the 17th one, corn maze here. This uh, we've, We planted about 10 of the first ones and we're doing this one ourselves, so we, we've done about 11 of ours, but as far as the planting of the corn and stuff like that. But this is one that we've done our own self, you know, we're doing about everything we can by ourselves for getting people to help us that we know, neighbors and stuff. Come in, start cutting on the maize on the 17th, and the, we cut the first part of the maize, about half of it, and on the 18th, we, we could see that it was turning brown in spots, so we just quit. And we waited until Monday, and Monday you could tell exactly where it was sprayed at by then. So then we contacted the, our local county extension agent and got him to come out and take some samples and stuff. He come out on Wednesday and got the samples and the, to see what, see what kind of chemical they sprayed on it. And the best thing they can come up with is probably paraquat. Right now, there's, they're going to do. They'll probably do some testing to see exactly what it is, but so they've got all the stuff to test with, you know. Well, it's kind of unfortunate. We want to do something as a community. We've been in a community-based business all of our life. We run a towing service in a garage, try to help the community out. So we just want to do a maze where the kids and stuff come have fun and enjoy it. So maybe it's not ruined. We still got a. We can still straighten out the spots where they messed up that we already cut, and the back part of the maze was cut in all good green corn. So, and we'll go ahead and do a haunted maze this year because we weren't we weren't expecting to do that, but since we had to divide the backside into two pieces, we decided to just go ahead and do a haunted maze in the back part of it. So, we'll have one that we can scare people in, and one that people can walk through and not be scared in. <laughs> Somebody was tempting to try to ruin it, but they they succeeded in part of it. They got a little bit of corn dead and got it looking bad in spots you know but they didn't succeed in the whole thing so they're not going to ruin it we're, we're farmers by heart and we've been farmers all of our life so we'll come back we we can solve problems and work around them you know it, it'll come it'll be okay yeah well, the police the police have made a report on it they've got an investigator on it and they're going to work with the the state on what comes back on the chemical analysis and all that so it may go somewhere, it may not. It really doesn't matter. I mean, they already done the damage, you know, there's no use to that. But at the same time, we can fix most of what's wrong and it'll still be a real good maze, you know. We're going to open up the 20th of September and we're going to run through all of October.